Okay then, Peter, so taking a look at these two swings now, we can look here on the left-hand side. Setup-wise, again, very, very good. We did discuss, obviously, tension throughout the grip in terms of your setup. We tend to squeeze that club quite tight. But generally speaking, the overall posture, the setup position, ball position was good. It did have a tendency to move back in the stance slightly. And as we said, because of that, that would obviously tend you to want to lean back towards this right side. It's very common in the winter. We're hitting the ground before the golf ball. So if our golf ball is positioned where it is currently and our strike mark is sort of on this blue line here, the logic would suggest that we move the ball back to that blue line. The problem is then you keep moving that ball further and further back. Your instincts now are to move this way to hit the golf ball even more. So we can see on this left, as we swing back, not a bad movement there. If you go back, decent shoulder turn there. As we come back in the golf ball here now, the sort of movement on the back foot, staying back there, popping up. Left foot now jumping off the ground. Not much pressure in that left foot or weight shift onto that left side and then finishing very much on that back foot sort of as you twist around the corner, which is going to cause those sort of fat shots, possibly some thin shots when you try to miss the ground and pull shots and slice shots. So looking at this right hand one now, as we discussed, we're just going to put this stick here on the ground just to give you a visual fitting. And all you're trying to do now is just miss that stick as you come down the golf ball. So you can see here now a good rotation on the way back. Now there needs to be a distinct shift to the left. So your hip now need to start moving towards this left foot. So we can see here as you go back down now, there's a little bit more movement towards that right, that blue line. <sighs> yes, could it be more? Certainly, but it's obviously the early stages now of this change and trying to get that feeling. We can see an impact now, a much more stable impact. Your left side now much more extended and that right leg now coming in towards the golf ball, meaning your weight now is shifting onto that left side. And we can see here now, so certainly post-impact, if we look at these two positions compared to each other, you can see where your weight and your leg positions are there, very much more on that front foot, on that right-hand image, getting through to a much more fuller follow-through and the weight now on that left side. Now, the arms stop a little bit short, as we can see. Maybe I think they're sort of thinking about it a bit too much. Obviously, in reality, those arms will just fling over the shoulder there. Could be a little bit of tension there in the arms, as we said. So... Work on that shift from the top of the backswing. Again, putting that stick there on the ground, you can put a bit of doweling or anything that's sort of fairly fairly thin. You also could put a towel on the ground there. So if you've got a towel, put it somewhere behind the golf ball like so. And then just move your body to try to miss the towel, getting that strike on that golf ball. So work on that downswing movement. Get that body shifting more to the left-hand side. I'm sure you'll find that strike will start improving and the ball flight flying a bit further and a bit straight, hopefully. Hope that makes sense. Any questions, obviously give me a shout and I'll see you soon. Cheers.